Graham Buck. Just yep. got a new job up in, it's in New Hampshire, right? Yep, yep, New yeah. Hampshire. He's a writer for us. That's right. But uh, when are you going to head up there? Um, I'm not entirely sure. They kind of insinuated they'd let me up there by August. Okay. So, I mean, a month and a half to... And what city is this in? It's a it's a little town called Londonderry. Um, London. If you if you're familiar at all, Manchester. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's like 15 minutes south. Okay. So good. It's only 40 minutes out of Boston. So is is this a youth pastor job? Or, mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the first pastoral job, not ministry job, but yes. pastoral job for you. Yep. Yeah, it is. It's uh, uh Yeah, it's. Uh, going to be interesting. I'm going to put this interview up on Facebook so that's there, cool. there, people can, you know. Hey, everybody can look. <laughs> everybody can see. Yeah, that's right. And, and they can all see the fact that, like, they, <laughs> they, they put all the writers uh -huh. in the monkey room. Yeah. Okay. You know, because <laughs> they stick four of us in one office. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what, what, I mean, that's just cruel and that's, unusual punishment. You know, and, and I'm suffering over here with, with, you know, a corner office. Corner and, office. And, yeah. and, and, you know, two windows and. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have another question for you. I mean, Shoot. has anybody ever you know, told you that your name would be cooler if it were reversed, if you were called Buck Graham? Well, you know, I actually, um, in, oh gosh, I can't remember how old I was, but I played uh, Little League Baseball uh -huh. with, a, with a kid whose first name was Buck. Uh -huh. um, and you know, so how coaches always call you by your last name? Yeah. He was forever getting messed up because he'd be like, Buck! And he'd be like, What? what? Not you! <laughs> Sit down! <laughs> Though I think he was the better athlete than I was. <laughs> okay, I, f I forgot to ask you too, what's the name of this church that you interviewed at? So? Um, Orchard Christian Fellowship, uh -huh. formerly uh, Londonderry Presbyterian. Okay. Um, actually, the oldest, I believe, um, the oldest Presbyterian church in New England. I'd heard it was really old. It when was incorporated, we... I think, in 1745. Wow. Yeah. Same building. Uh, well, the building um, that they used to be in uh -huh. was uh, was from the early 1800s. Ah. Um, but a year and a half ago, they decided that you know uh -huh. the USA Church's uh, you know insistence on mm -hmm. you know homosexual ordination. Yeah. You know. Uh, I don't know. Book of Church order kind of trumping the Bible. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they said, I think it's time for us to. So move they, on. they bailed on that. Huh? Yeah, well, I mean, they, they've, they've been a strong evangelical presence for. Uh -huh. I mean, the history of the church has never been one of liberalism. Mm -hmm. So. But how many members do they have right now? Uh, on a given Sunday, they've got anywhere from three to four hundred people attending. That's a substantial and, size, then. Yeah, and, and when they when the elders decided to mm -hmm. leave the denomination, they uh, they took a greater than ninety percent of the congregation wow. with them. Yeah, uh, for those of you folks listening who don't know, three or four hundred would put them in the upper ten percent bracket of, of church sizes. Yeah, especially you know, in New England. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, it's got a really healthy church, and the funny thing about it is so. They fought about a year and a, or about half a year, or a year. I can't remember what the what the dates are, but they fought with the denomination about the property. Uh huh. And uh, and when the denomination sued individually all the elders in the session, <laughs> they said, I, you know, I think the Bible says something about you know Christians not you know litigating yeah. against each other. So how'd that go over with the uh, USA? I mean, did uh, they buy into that? You know the. They finally decided to settle, mm -hmm. um, and I, I think I think they got the better end of the deal because the denomination got the property. Uh -huh. Well, they got the original plot, mm -hmm. um, you know. However, a, a few years ago, um, they had been gifted um, an adjoining 15 acres uh -huh. of uh, apple orchard. Yeah. And in the in the settlement, um, orchard got the orchard, mm -hmm. um, and you know, so the denomination has the smaller plot of land with a building. That's foundation actually I think is like a soft gravel, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got this. I mean, just expansive property. So, uh -huh. does this church have a website? It does. Ah. www.orchardnh.org. Okay, so if we want to follow your career, we know where you to go. To, you know where to go. It's okay. an awful website. <laughs> um, but no, I, I haven't. I haven't put my time in yet, so I'm not going to say anything more. Okay, well, <laughs> there's always a lot of work be to be tacked. done. Okay, yeah, there's always a lot of work to be done wherever you go. That's right. That's, That's right. right. So, well, this is exciting news. Yeah. 
How's your wife uh, receiving this equally happily? Yeah, she's... she's You're both near your family? This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, my parents used to live over in Clearwater, uh -huh. and then, um, but they just moved up to Philadelphia. Uh -huh. So, and then, you know, she's got family. She's got a brother who's like an hour, an hour away. Mm -hmm. Her parents are like two and a half. Yeah. You know, and like with flights from Philly to Manchester, it's like a, you know, hour, yeah. hour hop. Right. It's like fifty dollar one way ticket. So. Yeah, but it's, those are tough winters up there, though, as you know. Yes. Right. Yeah. You know, like I like I always say, you can always put more clothes on, mm -hmm. but at some point when you take that last article off, you get arrested. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and we'll close with that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Graham Buck. You're welcome. <laughs> okay.